This quick video is to demonstrate how a NetDuino web server can be controlled from a client. And so in this particular case, we're going to compile the code in Digo uh, using the web server and deploy it to the NetDuino Plus, successful deployment, and then also indicate the identified IP address. Now in this particular case, the IP address came up as the default manual address. I know that won't connect to the system that, that I'm currently working on, so I'm going to stop that and just restart the process so that DHCP, which is enabled, should be able to get a, uh, an appropriate IP address. Deploy it. Use a few of the string enabled commands and turn the LED on from a standard Safari browser. Turn the LED off. Issue a cycle command. And in this case, it's uh, for duration of three seconds. And the LED should extinguish. And then one last command that's implemented is the power pulse command which takes two arguments, an on time and an off time. I'll, I'll use two seconds for the on time, one second for the off time, and issue that command. So the LED should automatically continue pulsing even after we stop the debugger.